that the spirit of Houdini might be here, and maybe if you could help me, I want to see if the spirit Houdini is actually with you. This is going to be a lot of fun. So this is Houdini's Siberian transport lock. What I want you to do is just put your hand out. I just want you to look into my eyes and feel the energy of Houdini. Feel the energy of Houdini starting to enter your body, starting to enter, you're getting sleepy, feeling more and more relaxed. Every second more relaxed, your eyes are starting to get tired. Your eyes are starting to get tired. You're starting to relax, you're starting to relax. Feel Houdini. Whoa. My name is Roger Dreyer. I am the CWO, that's Chief Wizard Officer, not C-O-W, that spells cow. And welcome to the Houdini Museum of New York and the headquarters of Phantasma Magic. And before we have all these interview questions, it's way too early. And I think I definitely need some type of hot coffee. And well, maybe this is a little bit too hot. So what would you like to know? I am very fortunate that when I was 11 years old, my uh, father and parents shipped every Long Island kid down from New York down to Florida. And I told my grandfather some kids were cheating me in cards and what does a grandfather do? He protects the grandson. I went into a magic shop called Paul Diamond's Magic and Fun Shop in Fort Lauderdale. And that was like walking into Disney World and that changed my life. The nicest part at the Houdini Museum is we don't charge for admission. Um, and the reason why we're on the fourth floor at 213 West 35th Street is because of the value of the collection. We really didn't want to have just anyone coming off the street. I can't begin to tell you how many A-list celebrities hang out here. The who's who and entertainment hangs out here. All because we're in a secret hideaway on the fourth floor. So what are people going to see? They're going to get greeted by Houdini's aura. Houdini's bus from his gravesite, Houdini's performance table, Houdini's straitjacket that he escaped from, and pictures of New York City's Times Square where Houdini would dangle upside down around 1913 with thousands of people watching. Some of the funnest items that we have in here, there's a metal hand on the wall that's actually made out of plum lead. What happens is during a seance, all the lights go out. The spiritualist says, hold on to the person's wrist next to you. When the lights are out, that spiritualist is gonna take this metal hand and actually wrap it around the person's wrist next to them. Now, when they remove their hand, they still feel the weight of this metal hand on themselves so one of the weirdest things we have is people go, what is that metal hand on the wall? It's amazing that the amount of women that are now doing magic, magic isn't anymore just a male hobby or a male avocation. Thanks to YouTube, it's been getting more and more of everyone involved into magic. And the nicest thing is how magic has changed my life and how we here at Phantasma and the Houdini Museum are changing many families' lives as well.